what's up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is chrissy if you're new here hello today we're going to be watching a uh video comedy special they did it with snoop dogg tony hinchcliffe roast snoop dogg this should be really funny let's check it out yeah nigga i'm still fucking with you the don is here the dog is here you know who the the fog in here, ready to make them jump like Please a Please welcome here, Tony in the like Come on, Tony. Tony. Fuck yeah. Hello, everybody. You're all under arrest. <laughs> Great. Fucking serious. <laughs> Cops are all coming in any second. I'm pumped about this. This is awesome. This is like the World Cup of Pimp Cups. <laughs> fucking Snoop, I'm excited. Thank you, Mike Epps, for that amazing intro. You are, you are fucking awesome. I loved you in uh, Meet the Blacks, which is what I had to do before tonight's show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike Epps, there are 10 Wayans brothers out there, and we got Mike Epps hosting tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mike Epps hosting. That means Chris Tucker, Martin Lawrence, and Richard Pryor turned this down. Oh my God. We tried to get that cat that played Keanu, but instead we got stuck with this pussy. Oh. <laughs> like he washed his jacket in Goldschlager. <laughs> I love Mike Epson. Next Friday, Friday after next, and as my waiter at TGI Friday. <laughs> he has a new comedy album called Epilepsy. It should have been called Narcolepsy because that shit put me to sleep. But look at this amazing dais here. We have people that were big in the 80s, people that were big in the 90s, people making it now, and even D. Ray Davis is here. <laughs> is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Lunell is here at Snoop's Roast because pimps up, ho-ho's down. <laughs> She's amazing. She's amazing. She's always working on her craft. Macaroni and cheese. They made you buy two seats on the Underground Railroad. Oh! Hey, man. Your, your blood type is delicious. I could never hang out with Lunell because people would think I'm Gollum and she's my precious. A lot of people don't know this, but uh, Lunell was very excited when she found out French was going to be here until she realized it wasn't the dressing. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Love it. Love it. French Montana ain't worried about nothing, including how well he dressed tonight. <laughs> He's all the way up. Nothing can stop him, including his manager, from turning down this gig. Hilarious. <laughs> Paul Rodriguez, you're not going to believe this. This is true. I was at LAX a couple months ago, arriving in from a gig on a Sunday uh, morning, and I introduced myself to you. I said, hi, Paul. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe. I've been a stand-up comedian for 10 years. And like you, I started at the comedy store. And you gave me the cold shoulder. You basically went, like that. Well, fuck you, Paul Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Paul, you were famous when I was a kid. What happened? Now you're the only Mexican I know that doesn't work. Oh, oh my God. Hey, relax. I only have so much time. I'm killing too hard. I got to meet Michael Blackson tonight backstage in hair and makeup. They were rubbing a charcoal briquette against his face. Oh! You know, you know. Oh! 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 You guys know what I mean. They were, they were 
we're just giving him some highlights, you know. Michael, I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite as dark as you. I was afraid of the dark as a kid, and now I've grown up to realize I was just afraid of Michael Blackson. <laughs> Terry Crews is intimidating as well, right, guys? Until you find out he's openly, admittedly addicted to porn. Yeah, that's right. Is that how you got those muscles? <laughs> Beating your dick? Why do I feel like that thing hits back? <laughs> Terry beats his dick so much, that thing looks like Michelle A. Producers, I'm begging you. <laughs> Terry Stick has a 24 hour fitness membership. Terry Stick has teeth. <laughs> Terry shows his dick more attention than he shows his acting coach. <laughs> Terry Stick looks like an American gladiator. <laughs> Terry's dick is on The Walking Dead right now. <laughs> Terry's dick looks like Michael Blackson with a spray tan. Next. <laughs> Terry Crews calls himself a feminist, or as it's known in the black community, a bitch. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I love you. I am a huge fan. Huge fan forever. Snoop, you look like the California raisin that got hooked on heroin. <laughs> You look great tonight, though. Always well dressed. Ah, you man. spend more time in the yeah. closet than Dr. Dre. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. We're hanging out after this. It's everyone's dream to smoke weed with Snoop Dogg, especially the kids he doesn't know he fathered. <laughs> Snoop has killed so many people that his head is shaped like a teardrop tattoo. Oh. You've been nominated for 17 Grammys, but never won. The only Grammy he could lock down was Martha Stewart. Oh. It's true. Snoop and Martha have a cooking show together, guys. When asked what it was like to work with a 75-year-old lady, Martha said, not that bad. Oh. Let's face it, Snoop, you are looking unhealthy. I know actual dogs that go on more walks than you do. <laughs> Snoop's so old, he calls his arthritis the chronic. <laughs> now he drops everything like it's hot. <laughs> Snoop, you look like Whoopi Goldberg fucked a Whoopi cushion. <laughs> Snoop, it was an absolute honor to be up here roasting a legend tonight. I love you. I, when I first saw your work, oh I was goodness. in fucking diapers. And you just saw me work, and I'm pretty sure you're in diapers now. <laughs> this was an honor. Thank oh, you, guys. Good. Wow. Oh, my God, y'all. Tony, I have to find some more of his stuff because that was so funny. He went in on Terry Crews, okay, about that one subject back to back. That was so funny. Okay. Tony Hitchman. I mean, Tony Hitchcliff. <laughs> Tony Hitchcliff, you have a new fan, okay? I love that. That was funny. That's what I love about comedy. People say whatever. Not worry about who gets offended because you shouldn't. It's just jokes. It's funny. Just laugh, okay? Enjoy yourself. It was so good. Let me know how you feel about this video. And if you can or if you don't of, of any, find me some more of Tony Hitchcliff's work, please. So I can watch it. I would love to watch it with you guys. Yes, drop the link in the comments. Let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Share the video too. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Peace.